I tell you that I'm whole, but I'm still healing. I tell you that I'm happy, but I'm grieving. Thought I was a fighter. After her mother dies in an accident, 16-year-old Bree Matthews wants nothing to do with her family memories or childhood home. A residential program for bright high schoolers at UNC Chapel Hill seems like the perfect escape, until Bree witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus. A secret society of so-called legend-born students that hunt the creatures down and a mysterious teenage mage who calls himself a Merlin, and who attempts, and fails, to wipe Bree's memory of everything she saw. The mage's failure unlocks Bree's own unique magic and a buried memory with a hidden connection. Now that Bree knows there's more to her mother's death than what's on the police report, she'll do whatever it takes to find out the truth, even if that means infiltrating the legend born as one of their initiates. She recruits Nick, a self-exiled legend born with his own grudge against the group, and their reluctant partnership pulls them deeper into the society's secrets and closer to each other. I want to talk about my mom, okay? Hey, none of us had it great. But when the legend born reveal themselves as the descendants of King Arthur's knights and explain that a magical war is coming, magic swirls all around us. It is in the air that we breathe. Do not be so naive as to think we are the only ones who can harness its power. Bree has to decide how far she'll go for the truth and whether she should use her magic to take the society down or join the fight. When shadows rise, so will the light. When blood is shed, blood will call. By the king's table, for the order's might, by our eternal oaths, the line is long.